Uh, my name's Kanisa. It's my African name. <laughs> I go by Robin because nobody can pronounce the other one. I am African, though I am. I'm from South Africa. And you're instantly like, yeah, that makes sense now. Because <laughs> if I said any other African country, like Kenya, you'd be like, where's the birth certificate? <laughs> And I get different reactions every time I tell somebody, but like in general, like black guys will be like, so you're down with the chocolate? <laughs> or like weirdly the, the like Mexicans and Latin Americans, they'll be like, there's um there's white people in Africa. <laughs> like they don't ask it racistly. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, shh. There's Mexicans in America too. No. <laughs> Don't tell Trump. <laughs> and the best are the white people who kind of go, I thought you were British or Australian. And like they're sad, like, like they lost the white person. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm African American now. <laughs> Can I say the N word? No. <laughs> no. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. <laughs> the other day, this, this lady comes up to me. She's like, "Girl, you can't say you're African American if it ain't true." I was like, "I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I offended you. Apologies." I'm not American. That's not the answer she wanted. That's not the response. Um, but I am willing to make it true if I'm um, open to green card marriages, if anyone's into white chocolate. Justin. Is still here? Yeah. He's not even sitting right here. Man, is a Dutch girl, UK girl, and a South African, all in the front row. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm an au pair. It's not living the dream. Just saying. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this isn't either yet. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically what that means is that an American family brought me from Africa here to work for them. Yes, we've seen this before. <laughs> um, I just thought it's 2017, you know, I'll have more, I'll have rights as a foreigner in the USA and you would have a female president. That was a fun day for everyone. <laughs> yeah, and there's like a lot of protests now, a lot of people are unhappy, but they kind of need some work. Cause like, hell no, Trump must go. That's not gonna cut it, he doesn't care. <laughs> And I was in this march, the women's march, 20,000 women turned on to the avenue and they were like, woo! And I was like, is that a margarita special? That doesn't sound very protesty. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna give you some lessons because like in Africa, we learn how to protest from like birth. It's like recess, protest, we'll get to math when there's equality. <laughs> so what we do, it's an event, you know, everyone comes out, they've got their party regalia on, they're singing and dancing. A zoom pe, a zoom pe pe a mandla. And that's how we want to party, guys. <laughs> One struggle shuffle at a time. <laughs> the struggle shuffle is very important though it is. Leadership positions are handed out on that based on that ability. Our president just won, so you think you can dance Africa. That's how we got there. <laughs> it was cancelled after the first season though. We felt there was too much power in the prize. <laughs> yeah. um, how much time do you have? Uh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, fantastic. So, I get it though that it's a summer sport though, it's not really a winter thing. So just wait, you know the anti-Trump free concerts are coming. Meryl Streep will be emceeing. Lady Gaga will be performing. And there'll be $5 margaritas. Woo! <laughs> Thanks guys!